Good morning guys, today I am wearing mm, my voice <clears throat> Today I'm wearing this Topshop jumper which is quite old Got it about a year and a half ago I have Gap black jeans on, socks and my Sarah jacket and my Chloe backpack And then my rings are Monica Finida This one is from Accessorize And then for my watch I have my Daniel Wellington watch on um, which I wear a lot. I really can't go without a watch now. I used to um, not wear one for a while, but now I just can't get around without a watch because I am tired of going into my bag and getting my phone just to see what time it is. But yeah, today I am going to pick up Aiden and then we're going to go out. I'm not sure where I'm going to take him yet, but I want to take him somewhere fun, so we shall see. For my makeup, I've just simply done the um, everyday makeup that I've already done on my channel. There's a tutorial on this look, so if you fancy watching, go ahead and watch it. Don't have any falses on um, because I have a good mascara, so. Monday treat, it's got him a little mini Lola's cupcake. Wait, 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 it didn't might fall. Oh, there we go. Chocolate one. He's happy. Mm. Yeah. yeah, okay then. Is that yummy? Yeah. It's sweeties. <laughs> We're just in Boots right now. My friend came to meet me. We had lunch together. We went to Ed's Diner and we had bag and chips. Uh, we're just going to have a little shop around and then we're going to go back to the do you want to put his bag in? I can't hold that one, it's too heavy. You can put his bag in here. Oh, you got his water? Yeah. I went into H&M Home to pick up a vase, but actually I picked up something else instead. These seat kind of like cushions I saw when they were full price, but I need three of them and they were £13 and I really didn't want to pay um, three times £13, so like £39. I didn't want to pay for that. Um, amount for three like seat cushions and then I just went in today and they've actually been reduced to four pounds each so I picked up three and I put them on my chair and I can't decide whether I actually like them or not so I'm just keeping them in the bag for now but they were 12 pounds for three which is a really good bargain good morning guys I've just dropped Aiden off at nursery so it's pretty early still but I am getting ready now because I'm off into central London. Um, I'm off to a brunch while well, coffee meeting with Kiehl's. Uh, and then I'm going to have a facial with them in Selfridges. I'm going to um, have coffee in the Elan Cafe. I've never been to an Elan Cafe. I've seen it all over Instagram. And normally when I see stuff all over Instagram, I try to avoid it because I just know that it's going to be busy, it's going to be full of people taking pictures and normally it's expensive like if something's popular, like a, if a restaurant or coffee shop is popular on Instagram then you know that it's going to be like jacked up in prices so I normally try to avoid it but uh, the girl that I'm meeting today from Kiehl's actually suggested Elan because it's already in Selfridges and that's where I'm getting my facial done so Right now, I'm not going to put too much makeup on because it's going to be coming off it anyways. But then I don't want to go completely like naked because, yeah, I just feel like I've just woken up or something. So I'm just going to like freshen up, put some BB um, cushion compact on, my eyebrows, bit of mascara, you know, like the basics. Uh, eye drops. Before I do my makeup, I always put in eye drops. And these are the Optrex Eye Dew. If you get like red eyes, um, not a focusing. If you get red eyes, then this is really good. It makes your eye whites really bright and white. It's like a blue little liquid, but yeah. And I uploaded my makeup removal video on Instagram last night and you guys leave such lovely comments. I was really anxious about uh, uh, um, uploading that. Because when I don't have makeup on like this. <coughs> oh gosh that tea just went down the wrong way. <coughs> when I don't have makeup on like this. I feel really vulnerable. Uh, and I guess that's 
just me that's down to my own self-confidence i don't have a lot of self-confidence um even though people would think otherwise so yeah and then um eden's gonna be at nursery all day so yeah i can go do my fun can get ready now so i am ready today i'm wearing my sour coat as always i have my uniqlo um camel scarf on because it's quite windy and cold outside i have my pink h&m uh, jumper on i'm carrying quite a large bag today because i've got quite a lot to carry i have some makeup in there and then it's raining outside as well so i need to carry a umbrella so i've got a big bag with me today and then shoes as always manga sock booties and then i've just got a pair of black um journey jeans on from Topshop, and i'm also wearing my statement manga earrings as well i was thinking of tying my hair back because it's actually quite dirty even though i only washed it a couple of days ago my hair gets dirty really quickly but i think i'm just gonna leave it down for now and then i have a hair tie in my bag so if i want to tie it up i'm going to tie it up because it is really windy outside i was gonna wear a hat but then i was just like my hat's just gonna fly off like the wind is insane and that would be the most embarrassing thing ever if i was like walking and my hat fell off and i was chasing my hat down the street like no let's just let's just not <laughs> arrived at Elan Cafe and I'm with Louisa. We're doing and all the cakes look so so good. We're just going to get a coffee and a cake and then chat about skincare. So yeah, I'll update you guys on what happened after it. Um, so cakes just arrived. I ordered the lemon tart and a almond milk flat white. And we've just been talking about a couple of products. Well, not a couple, quite a few here. There's a SPF, which is going to be perfect for when I go on holiday. There's a Glow Formula Skin Hydrator, which I've never tried before. So I'm going to give that a while tomorrow and then a hydration face mask and then some cult classics like the ultra face cream and also the avocado eye cream and then you all you guys know that I always use this one it's the midnight recovery concentrate so that's going to be like a little backup for me I'm just going to try the lemon tart and see how it tastes this jacket in H&M it's quite nice and it's quite lightweight it's really good for uh, spring and I also found these sunglasses and then I have Kiehl's goodies didn't go shopping <laughs> in case you're wondering what I bought I haven't bought anything um, but I think I'm gonna get these sunglasses I was craving bubble tea so I got one at Bond Street station and um, they have a little concession there like a stand store so got one and this is um, a Yifang one so I've just gotten home I went to Sainsbury's really quickly just to get some bits and the skin feels so good I'll quickly show you the um, sunglasses that I got from H&M I am only buying cheap sunglasses from now on because I honestly break or lose all of my sunglasses these were $6.99 from H&M quite nice 
morning guys I've just got into my car I'm now off to get my nails done um, last week I posted on Instagram stories and there was a certain like nail art style and shape of nail that I really wanted and I asked you guys if you had any salon recommendations and because I put that up a couple of salons actually emailed me and asked me if I wanted to go get my nails done with them so I chose one salon and I'm gonna go get my nails done with them today so I'm just gonna drive there now and then I'll show you what the nails look like afterwards I'm really excited because I haven't had my nails done in about five years like professionally so I'm really excited to see how it turns out and I don't want to get them too long I know that like long nails are the thing right now but I don't want them too long because although I love the look of long nails and they look like they look amazing I still want to be practical because I'm st a quite a practical person and yeah I do a lot of like cooking and cleaning and I have a toddler so I don't want them to be like long long but I do want them to be noticeably longer than my natural nails I guess so yeah I shall take you guys with me how amazing and gorgeous these are I wanted quite simple um, I wanted nail art but I didn't want it to be too OTT because I don't think that's my style even though I love looking at OTT nails I don't think I could have like a million rhinestones and lots of glitter and all that kind of dress I went for something that was quite understated and simple so I just got black tips and then it looked a little bit plain so I asked for a rhinestone at the bottom and look at these when I went to get my bag and put my coat on it just felt so weird because I haven't had nails like this in a long long time actually I don't think I've ever had nails this long at all I've had like nail extensions but it was definitely not this long but I feel like because of the style of the nail it doesn't look too long I feel like if I had lots of diamantes and glitter then it would look really like long and OTT but because it's quite simple it's like nice I absolutely I'm in love I'll show you like this because it um, gives you a better idea of what they look like so quite simple minimalist quite understated and the place that did them she was so so nice and she was so fast like I was absolutely gobsmacked at how fast she was and how like perfect she did them um, I'll put all the details on Instagram because if I put this um, nail shot kind of picture on Instagram then I'll tag them but they are in Catford which is South East London so if you're looking for a nail salon in South East London I think she's the one like this is really good this is my very random concoction of um, pasta it's pasta spaghetti sausages crab meat um, tomatoes and some salad leaves in a mustard sauce so all it is is mustard mixed with water and seasoned and that's it like literally that's it <laughs> hi guys it's a saturday and i look really weird because i'm actually filming a instagram video i'm doing a blackhead treatment and a deep pore kind of like cleansing treatment so if you want to find out what i use check out my instagram video should be up by now but yeah that's what i'm doing on this fine saturday morning it's really windy outside but it's actually not too bad it's not raining or anything and today for me i think saturdays have become a routine for me that i just stay at home and sort out everything um because I have clothes that need to be put away, I've just put the laundry on, the washing machine's on, I have stuff to go through, my parents are coming down next week at weekend, next week, so I'm just trying to like get everything together, sort things out, probably need to go to the charity shop as well and drop off some things, but yeah, today's one of those days again where I'll just like catch up on things and just do day to day things and also last night I went out for dinner with a couple of my girlfriends 
We went to the Greenwich Grind in Greenwich, obviously, and it was so yummy. I'm finding it quite hard to talk because my mask is getting stiff. It's one of those that kind of dry up and get hard. But yeah, um, yeah, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, I went out for dinner and it was really yummy. I really liked the atmosphere in that place and there's a bar at the front and at the back there's a restaurant and the decor is just so Instagrammable. It's like so pretty. We went during the night time and it was still looking really good. So during the daytime, I think it actually looks even better because I've seen pictures online and it literally just looks like a greenhouse. It looks so pretty. Definitely gonna go back next week. Um, for brunch, maybe just take Aiden, me and Aiden. I quite like going out with just me and Aiden because it's quite like calm and it's just our bonding moment. And I feel at peace with myself when I'm with Aiden. When I'm with too many people or I've spent like a whole day with people like entertaining and socializing i get really drained out but even if it's just me and aiden going out for a whole day i don't feel drained out at all like it feels good so yeah that's what i'm gonna do next week i think so yeah i just need to wait for this to kind of like dry up and also i'm gonna make my seaweed soup again it was so good and i still have half a bag of seaweed left and i also have some pork in my fridge so i'm gonna make seaweed soup and that's gonna be my i've already had lunch i had like spaghetti um, so I think that's gonna be my dinner tonight and maybe like just drink it throughout the day. Just made another pot of seaweed soup but this time I used pork instead. It is so good! And a few of you asked me what soup base I used. Basically soup base is just water and then when it's ready I seasoned with a little bit of salt and some soy sauce and that's it. There's not a lot that goes into this soup which is a good thing I guess. I've just finished doing the first masks so my face is looking a little bit like shiny because it's all the stuff that's left on it um, but I feel like this is deja vu. This is so good. Good morning guys. Today is a Sunday. I actually bothered to curl my hair today. This is the first time I've had it curled since I've had short hair and I quite like it. I had to put a lot of um, root powder and also a lot of um uh the like dry texturizing spray into my hair to get this volume and effect even though my hair is quite thick i think if i had my hair like curled i'd want it to be like really thick and voluminous and textured and to achieve that i had to put a ton of hair product in my hair so it feels really nitty gritty right now um but I like, kind of like that because I know that my hair is going to stay when I like do that, it just like stays. But yeah, um, I'm just exporting a video. Last night I literally didn't do anything, I just was on the sofa watching TV all night, um, editing a video but it's all edited now and I'm about to export it, put it onto my phone because what I'm going to do now is go to my friends. I'm going to have lunch and I'm taking Aiden with me so um, he's going to get to play with her kids and it's been a while, like, we haven't seen each other before maybe a few months so it'll be nice to have a catch up and yeah it's just a really chilled Sunday really thank you uh, no thank you thanks bye I'm extremely tired so I've just got my coffee before I go to my friends and Aiden's just woken up as well so I took him to um, the shop and he got a little Paw Patrol egg. I'm gonna go see my friend now. She hasn't been answering my phone call, so I don't actually know whether I'm meant to go to hers or if I'm meeting her in town. So, yeah. To what, sorry? I want to open. Ha ha ha. Ha Did you open it all? Yeah. What stickers did you get? Huh? What stickers did you get? Paw Patrol stickers. I finished, mommy. You finished? Yeah. Okay, just hold it for a sec. Mommy's driving. Where are you gone? I don't know. She's not answering her phone. This is exactly why I don't go front in to spaces because I can't judge.
because I can't see the front of my car so I can't judge the space I always prefer to reverse into a space and that's what I'm going to do now literally takes me like five seconds to reverse into a space but if I was going head first it would take me like minutes We've just come to a restaurant called Chloe's in Sittingbourne and we have Sunday lunch. Look at how big this portion is. I'm sharing it with Aiden. So yeah, he loves Yorkshire pudding. Thank you. Mummy. 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 Mummy's gonna order it. Just at my friend's house now. Look at how many toys they have. It's heaven. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? You've had yours, haven't you? Yeah. Can you actually do it? Yeah. Really? Yeah, tell him to do it. Bye bye. Come here. Come here. Play this puzzle and I can't do it. So we're going to let a three year old do it. No, no, your turn. Come here first. You be a good boy there. Come here. Right, quickly do that for Yi Yi. Show Yi Yi. Is that how you do it? Yeah. So I'm going to do the whole um, bedtime routine and then go to sleep. I can't wait to take my contacts out. They're so dry. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.